So some reading from the Holy Scriptures. The first is from the book of Psalms, Psalm 27. God is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? God is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked close in to devour me, it is they, my enemies and my foes, who stumble and fall. If an army should encamp against me, my heart shall not be afraid. If war should arise against me, even then I will not be dismayed. One thing I have asked of God for which I long, that I may dwell in God's house all the days of my life, to gaze on your beauty, O God, and to seek you in your temple. For in the time of trouble you will give me shelter. You will hide me under the cover of your tent. You will set me high upon a rock. And now you have raised my head above my enemies around about me. Therefore I will offer in your dwelling sacrifice with great gladness. Hear my voice, O God, when I call and have mercy and answer me. Your face, O God, I seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not reject your servant in anger. You who have been my helper, do not cast me off or forsake me, O God, my Savior. Though my father and my mother forsake me, my God will take me up. Teach me your way, O God. Lead me on a level path, safe from those who lie in wait for me. Do not give me up to the will of my enemies. Reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 11, verses 28 to 30. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Finally, from Paul's second letter to the church in Corinth, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 7 to 18. But we have this treasure in clay jars, so that it may be made clear that this extraordinary power belongs to God and does not come from us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be made visible in our bodies. For while we live, we are always being given up to death for Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus may be made visible in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life in you. May God bless to our understanding these readings from the Holy Scripture.